Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for Boxing News and Views from around the internet. The Italian prospect Guido Vianello escapes with a majority draw against Kingsley Ebay in a very fun fight in which Ebay dominated stretches off. Really did hit Vianello with a number of good shots, cut him in the second round with a punch, and this looked like it could be Ebay's for the taking. It was a majority draw on the cards. Adelaide Bird um, had it 59-55 to Ebay and the other two judges 57 apiece. On my card, I had it um, as a draw. I thought that Vianello was trailing heading into the final round and that he did enough in terms of activity and outlanding a gassing or pretty much gassed eBay. But it was a case that um, I thought that if Kingsley eBay, if his cardio was better... I think he would have won that fight. I know that some people probably actually have given him the nod here. My card was um, three rounds apiece in the six rounder. And there were, you know, maybe one round that it was pretty close and I gave it to Vianello. But um, I think overall, a draw is not an unfair result. Although I'm sure that some people will think that Kingsley eBay did enough to get the nod. Obviously, Adelaide Bird, who's turned in a number of controversial scorecards over the years, she thought he had won five of the six rounds. But this was an interesting fight, and I said in my preview video that it was going to be interesting to see how uh, Guido Vianello was going to handle a fresh Kingsley eBay, because he's dangerous early. And again, he proved to be so, because I gave him the first two rounds. Uh, Vianello seemed to be at a little bit of a loss how to figure him out. eBay came out in the southpaw stance, and that was really giving Vianello some trouble. He wasn't able to really sort of close the distance or land too many punches of note. He was sort of second guessing himself. He was looking for the jab, but um, he was a little bit sort of caught between what he wanted to do. And in the meantime, Kingsley uh, uh, eBay was landing jabs. He was landing some straight lefts. He was landing some decent punches, especially in the uh, the second round where he did rock Vianello to something. When I say rock, I mean he caught him with a good shot, backed him up, and uh, Vianello was also cut in that round. Quite a nasty cut. It was. On on the um, eyelid on the left side of his face, was left eye, I should say. Um, and it, it looked pretty bad, but ultimately it didn't factor too much into how the fight played out. At least it didn't seem to. They managed to get the cut under control to some extent. But uh, eBay, you could maybe say, didn't maybe maximize the opportunity that he had there. He didn't really target that punch. But first two rounds, Kingsley eBay, he was actually quite measured compared to some of his recent performances in the top rank bubble. And I think we have seen, bearing in mind, Kingsley eBay sells insurance. He came into a gym, no amateur experience, and uh, they basically said, look, you've been knocking out all these guys. They were talking about this in the commentary. Maybe you should do this for a living. And he has been, and we've been seeing incremental improvements. And in this um, first couple of rounds, he really was quite measured, and he was making Vianello miss. He was slipping shots and countering, and I was actually highly impressed with the sort of um, evolution or where um, eBay has come from just a few months ago to where he is now, because he was no slouch in there, and he was making it very awkward and difficult for Vianello, and I gave him both of the first two rounds. But after that, it started to become a much more even fight when Kingsley eBay appeared to tire. The third round, he didn't look as sharp. He looked like the pace was slowing, and he was uh, maybe not as much snap on the punches, and it almost looked like it was a recovery round for him. He was just sort of um, trying to get through it, and that obviously allowed Vianello some opportunities. He was um, starting to land some good um, jabs to the body and head and more more shots overall. He began to outwork Kingsley eBay, especially with the shots landed. I gave Vianello the third round. And then we moved into an interesting fourth round where Vianello was continuing to work the jab. There was a really interesting moment where eBay appeared to pull a muscle, a bicep. Um, he got sort of hit in that region and then he sort of cried out in pain, looks at the ref and and there was just a, a second or two where you're like, what's going on here? Uh, but obviously he was like, oh, I don't like this. And then just um, started swarming Vianello. You know, he did actually manage to catch him with some shots. He was just all over him for about 10 seconds or so. But there was some good shots that were landed by Vianello in this round. And overall, I thought he did enough to win it. So after four, I had this two apiece. It was a very intriguing and interesting fight. Uh, and there was a bit of a throwback round in round five. Um, eBay was managing to catch Vianello, caught him with uh, maybe three or four really good shots, most 
mostly right hands. And it sort of looked like, you know, for a second there, was Vianello going to be in a bit of trouble if eBay could keep following up and uh, putting it on him? But it was a case at this point in the fight that um, fatigue was really playing a factor. And for the rest of the fight too, for eBay. Whereas with Vianello, he was tiring to some extent, but he looked the fresher of the two. He was sort of uh, able to sort of see off what eBay had and eBay just wasn't able to sort of keep up that momentum that he was building. He uh, really did catch him and back him up with a couple of good shots. I gave that to Kingsley eBay and I thought this is going to be a really interesting final round, but unfortunately it didn't quite have the fireworks that I was sort of expecting. Kingsley eBay, very tired, unable to do too much in that round and I gave it to Vianello because he was starting to catch um, eBay with a lot of shots um, and I thought overall he did enough to win the round and on my card I had it three apiece. So I wasn't surprised at all that it ended in a majority draw. But you have to say, um, and I'm sure people will be in the comment section here, you know, is this a bit of a red flag for uh, Guido Vianello and what we can expect in his level? Because uh, he was meant to go in here and win the fight. He was meant to outbox the guy, potentially even stop him. But I always thought that Kingsley eBay would be dangerous early on. And he was. But um, after that, Vianello didn't really impress to the level that I think many of us would have expected. Remembering in the last uh, sort of six to nine months, um, Vianello, who's been fighting in the top rank bubble, he started to get a lot more hype behind his career. Top rank has been sort of pushing him as a, one of these guys in the heavyweight division that is the uh, next wave of the best heavyweights coming through. In the same breath, they mentioned Daniel Dubois, Arslan Beck, Makhmadov, Tony Yoka, FA Jagba, and they also mentioned Vianello along with those guys. And on the strength of this performance, you know, you've got to say he's still got a lot of work to do. Uh, he did really seem to be betwixt and between in those early rounds, not able to sort of solve the, the Southpaw um, puzzle. And maybe he hadn't trained for that, but there was moments where eBay was uh, switching in between stances, going orthodox. But certainly for the majority of the fight, he had the most success being a Southpaw. Maybe this is one of the kryptonites for Guido Vianello. We have to consider this. At times, his jab looked good, but uh, eBay, for the most part, was able to um, nullify Vianello and stretches and take away the right hand. The right hand, as we've seen before from Vianello, does have some good pop on it. And it has been uh, really rocking guys to their boots, but uh, not so much in this one. And eBay clearly does have a good chin, but also, as I mentioned earlier, I think he is getting better. He's a guy I want to see more of. Um, not because I think he's got the sort of potential to be a champion, but he's going to be a hard out for any fighter in the heavyweight division. Sort of like a, a Johnny Rice type that, you know, someone who can be frustrating but also can win rounds behind their skills and activity and they can have a lot of success in certain uh, moments of a fight but not necessarily having be at, being able to put everything together to, to beat a guy like this. I mean I know some people will think that perhaps eBay did enough tonight. My card I had it a draw. I'm not mad if some people had it 4-2. I can see that but I can't see any case for Vianello having won four rounds in this fight. So yeah I definitely think um, a draw at worst and you know eBay I I wouldn't be mad if people say that he won this one 4-2 on their card. Adelaide Bird, I think 5-2 was a little bit wide. But uh, yeah, because I thought after four, Vianello had come back and he'd won two rounds in a row. And I thought he took the final one. But I guess, you know, people will be asking question. Where is Guido Vianello really at? Do, what does he have to work on here? This was a somewhat unexpectedly close fight against a guy who already has a loss on his record but is an improving fighter. But Guido Vianello had the pedigree heading into this one. eBay doesn't really have much experience in the sport at all. And uh, there were certainly stretches where eBay was looking the, the better of the two fighters. Overall, I thought he landed uh, the bigger shots, the cleaner, more effective work overall. But Vianello did have a good jab at times, and that was helping him pick up a couple of rounds, which ultimately proved very important. I thought the final round, I thought it was a clear Vianello round, in which um, really did secure him the draw, in my view. I'll be interested to see the cards, to sort of see where the rounds sort of fell. But I had I, uh, eBay with the first two, Vianello the next two, and then the splitting the fifth and the sixth but uh, certainly want to see more of Kingsley eBay and for Vianello he's obviously got to go back to the drawing board um, I, I did sort of see a, a few people online sort of saying is the right sort of fit in terms of trainer and fighter is it sort of uh, working for Vianello being with Kevin Barry I guess the jury is out on that one 
But uh, Vianello, obviously, he does have some talent. The footwork, again, was on display. He does move well. But, uh, yeah, he didn't seem to be able to figure out the puzzle of Kingsley eBay until much later in the fight. I think later than we would have expected. And certainly his percentages uh, of landed punches uh, across the board, body, jab, and just power shots, wasn't great. Uh, And eBay, not a guy noted necessarily for his defense. But, uh, yeah, he certainly was a little bit slippery at times. But what did you make of it all? Guido Vianello uh, escapes with a majority draw against Kingsley eBay, who really does, uh, his stock has gone up uh, in the top ranked bubble. And I want to see him again and hopefully against some of these other prospects that they do have. Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.